This course was designed with the assumption that you have a working knowledge of the PHP language and have written a few scripts. Without this background, you might not have enough context to follow along with what I'm doing, which can be a bit frustrating. For some background or a refresher, I recommend PHP with MySQL Essential Training with Kevin Skoglund here in the lynda.com online training library. Additionally, the use of object-oriented PHP is required for this course. If you're not familiar with it, check out Object-Oriented Programming with PHP here in the lynda.com online training library. It'll include examples and explanations that should make CodeIgniter adoption much more seamless. If you're unfamiliar with configuring web server components, check out the course Installing Apache, MySQL, and PHP with David Gassner here in the lynda.com online training library for comprehensive instructions on how to manage this solution stack. If you're interested in MVC frameworks in general, take a look at MVC frameworks for building PHP web applications with Drew Faltman here in the lynda.com online training library. It covers a number of key structures and techniques, then goes into a brief survey of many different frameworks, including CodeIgniter, which is the sole subject of this course. Finally, it's always good to know where the manual is. CodeIgniter maintains a comprehensive user guide that provides both tutorials and functional references. These can all be found at ellislab.com. I recommend bookmarking this page and using it as a reference as we go along.